A big welcome to all our principals, vice principals and HMs. This is a simple video which shows how to use the G Suit ID for classroom observation and some other associated features. I am thankful to our principal, Sir Shri P. C. Mahapatra, for allowing me to use the G Suit ID of our Vidyale. First and foremost, if we are using a mobile, we click on the Google Classroom app from our mobile. If we are using a laptop, then we will be going to the Google Classroom website. After this, we need to check with which ID are we logged in. So for that, we need to click here. We click and we find the ID with which this Google Classroom is associated. If we do not find the G Suit ID here, we will click on the arrow and we will try to find whether the ID has already been added. If not added, then we will go to add another account and add the Google ID. Once this is done, we can always refresh or open the Google Classroom app again with that ID. The refresh part is present here. It is advisable to keep refreshing the Classroom app. Now, once we are logged in, we will find that the teachers of your Vidyalaya have sent invitations. Our work is to accept all the invitations. The word accept will apply here. Right now it is not showing because all the invitations have been accepted. Once the acceptance has been done, you can move to that particular class. And here is the video icon. This is the video icon. So, if we click on this video icon, we can reach the Google Meet associated with the Google Classroom. Directly, all our respected principals, vice principals, HMs can join any class. And after clicking on join meeting, next. What other features are present here? Let us see. We find here the settings option. If we click here, then we find here send email notifications here. The sent email notifications can be turned off in order to avoid flooding of our mailboxes with the email notifications. Next, the photo can be updated from here and from here the class notification section can also be seen and it can be turned off or on depending on the requirement. In this manner the notifications can be disabled. If the notifications are not disabled then 
from here we can get to know the notifications the different notifications we click here and we get to see the different notifications the messages everything which has been posted in all the classrooms next how can the classes be rearranged here we find the classes are not in order after 2 it is class 5 after that it is class 11 after that 9 so classes can be rearranged either in ascending or descending order if we are using a laptop to access google classroom it can be rearranged in this manner we can shuffle the classes in this particular manner and arrange it either from class 1 to 12 or from 12 to 1 this is while using a laptop when we are using google classroom through a laptop now if we are using it from the website of our mobile then we can rearrange it in the following manner we can take a particular class and then move it in this particular manner so in this manner the shuffling can be done in a mobile but again using the website of google classroom shuffling is not possible by using the google classroom app it can be only done with the help of a website but the results can be seen out here so that is all from this video. Thank you.